There's something really special about the video store. Places like Blockbuster, Hollywood Video, and now small mom and pop shops or hole in the wall collector stores just trying to keep physical media alive. I remember as a kid going to our local Hollywood Video to rent movies for the weekend and being too afraid to go in the back because the cover art for the horror movies was way too scary. But everything else was amazing. I could have spent hours just wandering the aisles looking at the endless number of movies I had yet to see. One time, we had received credit for a free rental, and my brother and I begged my mom to let us rent Aragon. Remember that train wreck? There was even a small rental place in our local grocery store. Because of that, I was introduced to Lord of the Rings, Atlantis, and even the PlayStation 2 Spider-Man tie-in game. It really was a magical time, and even though streaming services have made it easier for someone to expand their palette and discover new movies, especially movies from smaller indie filmmakers, the way video stores have evolved is still really cool. I have the privilege of working at one of these places, so I can't really hide my bias. But I work here because it's something I'm really passionate about. I think it's really cool when people come in and ask for recommendations, or just to talk about movies they like. With Netflix, you spend half your time looking for something to watch. And even though I find myself wandering around these stores for an hour, it's a totally different feeling than searching on streaming. What I've noticed is, holding a physical copy of a movie does a lot to spark conversation. When someone comes into my store to ask for recommendations, it's an opportunity to get to know them, or show them something they might not have thought of otherwise. My go-tos are usually Changeling for drama films, Planet Terror or Evil Dead for horror, When Harry Met Sally, The Mummy, or Hidalgo. These might not be the greatest movies ever made, but they're movies that either bring somebody back to that nostalgic time of blockbuster, or movies that they may have overlooked before. I also love those super rare finds that you can't find on any streaming services. Shopping online like with Amazon, you usually know exactly what you're looking for and know immediately whether or not they have it. And where's the fun in that? Honestly, as a collector, I just love to hunt. With the video store, you never know what hidden gems you're gonna find. Maybe something from your childhood that you forgot about or something that's been out of print forever and isn't on streaming. By the way, anyone got a copy of Dogma? Shopping like this becomes a communal experience. The first time I met my girlfriend was at my store, and we've spent so many hours walking around it together trying to find something fun to watch, or time spent of me lecturing her about the history of each individual movie I pull off the shelf. Thankfully now she gets to hear these lectures at home in front of her own collection, and I'm really, really hoping she's not tired of it already. You should watch it. It's a good movie. When you pick up these movies, it gives you an amazing sense of nostalgia for those old blockbusters and Hollywood video stores. These places might not be as lively as they used to be, definitely far from it. But film is something I'm passionate about. To me, film is the greatest art form because it's a culmination of so many different art forms working in unison to bring people together through shared experiences via storytelling. And if film is art, then the video store is a museum with exhibits you get to take home with you and share with others. And that is really beautiful to me.